Greetings from the Sarge. In today's video, we will discuss one of the cruelest weapons in modern warfare, the TOS-1 Multiple Rocket Launcher. Mounted on a T-72 tank chassis, the TOS-1 launches two types of rockets, incendiary and thermobaric weapons. Just in case you don't know what these warheads are, a thermobaric warhead, or a vacuum bomb, is a type of explosive that uses oxygen from the surrounding air to release a large cloud of flammable gas, which causes an enormous explosion. According to David Johnson, a retired U.S. Army colonel, thermobaric munitions are sometimes known as a poor man's nuclear weapon because they can vaporize people in the vicinity of the blast. If you somehow survive the blast, you'll be left with severe 4th and 5th degree burns. Incendiary munitions aren't as lethal as thermobaric weapons, but still pack a punch. These munitions are designed to set fire to objects or people once the warhead is detonated on impact. Even though these weapons aren't as powerful as thermobaric munitions, they can still burn you alive, which is the most painful way to die. Alright, fine. Enough with the grim details of these weapons. Let's move on to the TOS-1 specifications. The TOS-1 heavy flamethrower system has 30 launching tubes and a crew of 3, a commander, gunner, and driver. It has a relatively short maximum firing range of only 3.5 kilometers and a minimum range of 400 meters. The vehicle is powered by a V84-1 diesel engine, developing 840 horsepower. Like the tank itself, the T-72 chassis is protected by composite armor. The TOS-1 is intended for direct fire support of advancing infantry as well as main battle tanks. It is designed to target military personnel, fortifications, and light armored vehicles. There are two other variants of the TOS-1, such as the TOS-1A and the TOS-2, but I don't want you guys to be here all day, so I'll spare you from the details. Anyways, thanks for making it to the end of this long video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and follow to see more videos like this in the near future. And of course, have a wonderful rest of your day.